some accurate statements about the Chambered Nautilus. The Chambered Nautilus is part of the class under the phylum mollusca called the cephalopods, which includes octopus, squid, and cuttlefish. Cephalopod, translated from the Greek, means head feet, and for the Nautilus, this means that attached to their heads are 90 feet, or tentacles, as they are commonly referred to. The Nautilus tentacles, unlike their other cephalopod relatives, do not have suckers. Instead, they have ridges and grooves and a sticky glue-like substance to hold on to prey. Furthermore, Nautiluses do not have ink sacs. However, they are the only cephalopods to have retained their external shell and are considered living fossils, as they have gone under very little evolutionary change over the course of about 500 million years. They live in the tropical Indo-Pacific and inhabit the coral reefs. During the day, they spend their time at depth, up to 2,000 feet deep, to avoid predation from octopus, sharks, triggerfish, and turtles. When they sense a predator, they can fully retract their body into their shell and cover the opening with a tough, leathery covering. However, its predators have the ability to crack their shells. At night, they migrate vertically in the water column up to 300 feet in depth to feed on, on crabs, shrimp, fish, and any dead animals they can scavenge. To feed, they capture food with their tentacles and pass it to their mouth, where beak-like pincers break the food apart. They also have a radula, which is a rasping structure within their mouths with hundreds of tiny teeth to further break up the food. Unlike their other cephalopod relatives, Nautiluses do not have very good vision. While they have fairly well-developed eyes, they lack lenses. So their main mode of sensory perception is olfactory. They use their sense of smell to find dead or dying organisms. They also use their olfaction to find mates once they reach sexual maturity. Sexual maturity can take 5 to 10 years from hatching. Once they reach maturity, they mate once a year. The males have a special tentacle called the spadix, which is a modified foot composed of four fused tentacles. This modified foot is used to transfer a sperm packet into the female. To achieve this, the male grabs a hold of the female's shell and inserts the spadix. This mating can last up to 24 hours. After the mating is over, the female then deposits up to 14 eggs, one at a time, and uses her tentacles to attach them to a hard surface. Each egg is layered with membranes that form a protective case. After 9 to 12 months, the little nautilus babies emerge as hatchlings of about 3 centimeters in length and feed on small shrimp. Each hatchling starts out with four chambers to their shell. As they grow and develop, they build new chambers that are connected to the old ones and can grow 30 chambers or more throughout their lifetime. They can live to be 20 years old and 8 inches in length. The actual body of the animal occupies the last chamber, which is the largest chamber, while the rest are used for buoyancy control in their swimming and nightly vertical migrations. A tube called the siphuncle connects all the chambers. To change their buoyancy, the nautilus adjusts the ratio of water to gas in their shell chambers so that they can move up or down in the water column. They can also move horizontally by way of jet propulsion. They pull water in through their siphon and expel it in a burst, resulting in a sudden push backwards. And because of the backwards nature of their swimming, they often bump into things. Their beautiful shells have gained quite some attention in the ornamental world and have inspired a number of decorative and desired items and fashions. 
the interest in their shells by the shell trade has resulted in a decline in nautilus populations. Some countries, like Indonesia, have banned the export of nautilus shells to help discourage the harvest of these animals. But other countries still allow trade, and thus their shells remain commodities. So if you ever see a nautilus shell for sale, resist the urge to purchase it, so as to not encourage the continuation of their exploitation and let these little guys keep swimming.